What do we know about the practice of beekeeping? Do you know this is a business in itself? Beekeeping farms are very common now. The earliest humans would have procured honey directly from the natural beehives. Well, this is far from safe. Imagine a swarm of bees stinging all at once if there's even a slight error on our part. Beekeeping nowadays is done in a structured manner. Small wooden craters are specially designed to create an artificial home for the bees. This is an extremely low investment business and is surely profitable. It serves as an additional income to all farmers. Do you know that these beehives can also be a source of wax? Yes, they are. Local varieties of bees are usually used to produce honey for commercial gain. Do you want to learn the scientific names of a few local varieties of bees? What do you think the Indian bee is called? It is known as the Apis serrana indica, while the rock bee is known as the Apis dorsata. The little bee and the Italian bee are known as the Apis florae and the Apis mellifera respectively. The Italian variety is commonly used for commercial honey production. Well, that's a lot to learn. But tell me one thing, what is the difference between the Italian variety of bees and the local varieties? The Italian variety possesses some good characteristics. Firstly, they produce more honey than the usual ones. Secondly, they sting less. And lastly, they stay in one beehive for a considerably long time. These are enough reasons to prefer them over the local varieties. Do you know a bee farm has a special name? Yes, it's called an apiary. The name comes from the genus name of the bees, Apis, as you must have just observed in their scientific names. What factors do you think bee farms depend on for the quality of their honey? Firstly, quality depends on the flowers that are available to the bees. Flowers are the source of nectar. Better the quality of flowers, better the quality of honey. Would you like to know a few amazing facts about bees? A bee has to travel to around 50 to 100 flowers during one collection trip. It is believed that a worker bee visits about 2 million flowers to make just one pound of honey. Well, now you know how many bees would have worked in order to provide us with one jar of honey. How much honey do you think an average worker bee makes in its lifetime? It would surprise you to know that one average worker bee makes just one twelfth of a teaspoon all its life. And bees work non-stop during the day to garner nectar. That's how the expression as busy as a bee came into existence. Bees have been producing honey for the past 10 to 20 million years. Thanks to them, we are privileged to be consumers of this amazing product called honey. Next time you pass by an apiary, do drop in and witness this amazing process. Be sure not to touch or disturb the bees though.